Welcome to Earth and Space Science 7. I'm so excited to start the school year with you and hope that you're excited too. Uh, this year we're uh, going to be covering space science first semester and other earth science topics second semester. First semester includes topics such as discovering space, the moon, solar system, and humans and earth. It follows the same standards as last year, though the curriculum is a little bit different because it's uh, online. Uh, it, we even include up-to-date stuff, new discoveries, how they find planets, and fun stuff like that. Uh, we're going to also uh, explore uh, how you can improve your scientific skills, such as scientific measurements for outer space objects and scientific method like we use when we do labs or uh, demonstrations. A little bit about me. I went to high school at Warrenmont High School. I was in marching band playing the flute and varsity swimming. I really enjoyed uh, that whole experience and uh, I'm still actually in a community band and still play flute so it's uh, in Waterford, there's about 80 members, ages 18 to all the way up into their 80s. So it's a, a really uh, fun group. We practice once a week and have performances about four times a year. So uh, it's just one of my uh, things that I do outside of school. I, uh, I really like ice cream. So I said when I was in high school, I was in band and marching band. I also worked in an ice cream shop and continued as a hobby for 10 years and uh, as a manager uh, it was really fun working with all the people and uh, of course all you can eat ice cream uh, that was a little bit perk of the job. For my uh, teaching credentials I went to Central Michigan University. I majored in uh, mathematics and science and education and I had a minor in middle level education because this is exactly the place that I want to be. And uh, after that, while I was teaching, I got a degree at Oakland University for educational leadership. I've been a teacher at Bendel for 15 years. I've always taught seventh grade science, though the type of curriculum has changed as they update the standards. And for five years, I also taught seventh grade math. Um, at home, I have three birds. I love all animals. Um, I've had birds and dogs as pets. My uh, birds include a parakeet that we caught outside named Fiona because they can't survive the winter here. And then I have a 21-year-old cockatiel. He's uh, called a cinnamon saddleback, so he's all white with some light grayish cinnamon markings on his back. And um, his name is Roger because we, he was, uh, we got him in Roger City, Michigan. And then I have a Senegal who's 23. You can look them up. They're pretty cool looking. He giggles all the time and uh, we adapted him from a family friend. So uh, they're pretty entertaining when I'm, you know, grading or just hanging out at home. Other hobbies are, you know, seeing friends, family, travel, biking, rollerblading, skating, outdoor stuff. Uh, in the summer, I do pound class, this is like with drumsticks, exercise with drumsticks, and uh, yoga for fun. Uh, in the winter, I'm, um, I'm busy, so I just maybe do outdoor stuff like ice skating or whatever. And, uh, you know, uh, summer was good for the beach because there's not much else we could do with uh, COVID. I only went a couple times, but that's something that's really fun because I love to swim. And uh, so, so enough about me, just uh, get back to the actual coursework. If you want to contact me, email is the very best. It's the fastest way for me to get back to you and to make sure I can give you a complete response. But you're certainly welcome to call me as well. And uh, whether we're face-to-face -face or virtual, I can provide you the same academic experience and we'll have the same expectations. So uh, we follow uh, the ROAR expectations where you are, uh, the first R, so I don't mix up which R is which, is respect, and then O is organized, A is have a positive attitude, and the last R is be respectful, so that goes along with kind of like my basic be nice rule in the classroom. And we're going to follow the VMS uh, student handbook, as well as any COVID safety measures that are in place uh, by the school and the state, and that's 
pretty much covers all my classroom expectations for grading. I want to give you the maximum credit so you can always ask to improve your grade. If it's late, it could be low as, lowered as much as to a 70%, but I try not to do more than 10% um, because your effort and learning are what is really important. Usually students who turn in all their work for me with good effort end up with an A or B. There's uh, very few, even C range, if they've attempted everything uh, and done their best on each of those assignments. If you're absent, you can get full credit for at least the number of days you're absent. So if you were gone five days, five school days after you get back, it would be absolute full credit no matter what. Um, but I just ask that you label your work absent somehow, like type it with your name or whatever, so that I know that to take that into consideration for your uh, grading and that it's up to you to come and see me if you have any questions about the work posted through Canvas. I'm going to just double check I, that I covered everything I wanted to cover with you. Uh, oh, I guess the types of assignments I have could include uh, labs, lab demonstrations, simulations, discussions, projects, quizzes, possibly presentations, short writing assignments, and the important thing isn't about being right, it's that you make a claim and you provide evidence or reasoning for your thinking. So uh, science is all about the thinking and the process and trying to make sense of things. You don't have to be right all the time uh, to do well in this class. And participation is really important because it helps me uh, help you be successful. If I know your thinking, then I can address any issues or misunderstandings that you might have. So uh, this year, I guess I'll close with that uh, I'm going to be really flexible. I want you to have a great year, and um, I help you with whatever you need, so don't hesitate to bring any concerns or questions, uh, and let me know how we can make your year the best one yet. I look forward to working with you this school year.